WDJS Productions offers biblical teachings of God's Word for you. Our prayer is that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Hi, I'm Cindy. And I'm Darlene. Today we are teaching on God's remnant people. The Word of God in both the Old and New Testament speaks about a group of people called the remnant. What is the remnant and what separates them from the rest of the world? They are a faithful people who love God with all their heart and their neighbor as themselves. They are God-fearing, true believers who keep the commandments of the Lord Jesus Christ. The remnant will hold fast to the absolute standard of the infallible Word of God by walking in all truth. Those who walk in truth will be hated by others as Jesus warned in Matthew 10, 22. God's remnant people will endure hardships and persecutions, yet they shall stand strong amidst gossip, slander, ridicule, and their good be evil spoken of. Therefore, in the face of opposition and adversity, they overcome because they love not their lives unto death, as it says in Revelation 12, 11. Amen. The Hebrew meaning for remnant is a remainder or residual, surviving final portion that had escaped. In short, the remnant is what's left after God's loving judgment. Meaning, the remnant will experience God's righteous judgments, correction and discipline. This is to refine and prove us, revealing our heart's motives, whether we will keep His commandments or not. Zechariah 13 verse 8 and 9 says, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them and I will say, it is my people and they shall say, The Lord is my God. God holds His people to a higher standard of accountability because they have a deeper revelation of His will. The remnant submits to God's order, receives His loving disciplines, and produces much for His kingdom. They are discipled and shown how to follow and serve Jesus Christ, regardless of their age, position, or calling. As a fruit tree must be pruned throughout its life, so likewise a Christian must continue receiving the Lord's love and chastening to bear plentiful lasting fruit. John 15 2 says, Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. He does this because He loves us and prompts us towards blessings through obedience. The Lord is to be our first love, and we must serve Him with fervent desperation and zeal. We are responsible to obey His every command and are accountable to God-ordained leadership. Hebrews 13, 17 says, Obey them that have the rule over you, and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls, as they that must give account, that they may do it with joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. How do we know if one is the remnant of God's church? They are a people that walk in the Spirit and produce miracles, signs and wonders that are promised in the Word of God. And Daniel 11, 32 and 33 says, The people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. And they that understand among the people shall instruct many. Remnant people are servants who have surrendered their lives to serve God and others through the leading of the Holy Spirit. Luke 9, 23 says, And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. As they are being discipled, they earnestly take up Jesus' mandate to go into all the world, preaching the gospel and making disciples. 
through discipleship, the remnant will come to know their calling, gifts, and talents in Jesus Christ and joyfully fulfill their ministry. 2 Peter 1.10 says, Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. At this present time, we see the Lord shaking everything that can be shaken to see who will stand with Him. Will you allow God to purge you from the world and all its ways? Will you stand faithful? Luke 18, 8 asks, When the Son of Man cometh, shall He find faith on the earth? It's your choice to obey His call and be found faithful. Revelation 3, 20 and 21 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am sat down with my Father and his throne. Let us pray for you right now. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that your hand be upon your people to lead and guide us in all truth. Pray that your ministering, warring angels surround us and protect us, Lord, so that we will be kept safe and be found faithful. In Jesus' name, I thank you that you will strengthen us. Father, I pray blessings to everyone watching, strength that they can endure to the end. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Father of glory give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of Him and make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. Thank you for watching. For more teachings, visit WDJSProductions.com.